Hello, Buzzercars, my name is Hotzesty, and welcome back to Beltless Victoria. Last time, uh, let's have a look at the map we uh, put in this second factory for red circuits right there, um, which is probably still ramping up. We have open stations for delivery. And of course, we have open stations for pickup, which is very good. Um, on the side of the green circuits, oh, we also have some pickup stations open. Uh, but we also noticed when we are uh, looking here, um, if we look at the, the graph for... Um, for the green circuits and if we look at the graph for the copper cables then we see there there is a is a is a correlation and uh, if we compare this number and this number we see uh, they are basically same same high which could mean um, we are maxed out in in our production but i think it's it's more an an issue that we are not having enough copper and if we look at our copper situation this field is empty in the meantime we have three stations with three trains there we have three stations two trains there and uh, one station that does not have enough uh, copper yet uh, and then here we have the same picture again so basically we just don't have enough copper and that can be uh, for one uh, because we do not get enough or into the smelting um, we might have um, trains that go want to go to stations but cannot and therefore st are stuck there uh, and then we might have not enough uh, copper smelting stations so i think today we will go around uh, add another copper field uh, this one up here then we also have to make sure uh, pollution wise we are okay uh, luckily um, with this setup we are playing on a rail uh, rail world so that means the aliens do not expand once we have cleared out an area and there is a balance between uh, the pollution that we produce in our factory and the pollution that is consumed and you can see that here in this tab so if you have a, a pretty constant production of um, pollution that you consume um, then there is an equilibrium where the soil and the trees pick up that pollution and that's good as long as you don't have any any nest taking up uh, pollution that does not add to to the evolution of the of the biters and you do not really run into into problems this basically means the pollution cloud will expand as much until this uh, this balance this equilibrium is is reached but of course each time we add something we generate more pollution especially if we add something towards the edge of our pollution cloud which will be the case here 
and you can see down here there is a nest pretty close to our cloud so probably at some point we have to go through here to to clean out a bit more area down there uh, on this side we are pretty good uh, there we probably want to see a bit further and then up here as well all right um i think let's get to work um i probably am missing a ton of materials but let's start with a new um copper field to get the the things in and we can do clean up after that now we are up here and i think um maybe let's put a few of that away um I think I have a blueprint for this and here it's always a question how do we want to orientate the thing and we do have basically the line coming in here that we can reuse and usually we then have three loading stations or three mining smelting loading stations on here and this is a bit more oval so it's it's higher than it is wide so it would make sense to have one at the bottom and one at the top that but then the the loading station would go to the to the west to the left side which is probably not the best thing so i am thinking we will place one here at the bottom and we will have one here not exactly symmetrical and then we will have one here at the top about in the middle and there will be patches left and right that we uh, are not reaching um, with with our mining operation but that's okay i think uh, because uh, we always once everything here is is mined out we can then always branch off to the side and uh, let's get rid of the pollution um, you can see we did that down here already so we can over time clear out the, the whole field so what are we missing here uh, quite a few chests uh, inserters uh, miners and by the end of it probably a few uh, uh, a few furnaces yeah not not as many as i feared uh, that's that's good at least um but then we basically also need to to connect uh, all this up so uh, let's copy 
uh, this piece of rail. I think that works. That works quite well. Um, we can copy that over to there, and then this ones connect to here. And probably I will run out of uh, rails to, to finish that. Um, and this one, we can then basically connect to here and there and have this go up and this go up and basically connect to here and out of rail. All right, let me grab the missing missing materials um, to finish all this off and then we can see what's the matter with these stock trains because getting those moving would also help uh, and um, we also need to clean up all our old pieces and we probably have to do a uh, uh, alien run to make sure that um, there are no disturbances while we are mining. I was thinking instead of running down grabbing new materials uh, we could go ahead and basically wrap this out uh, and that should at least give us some materials that we need uh, we only need a few more furnaces so we should be good on that we maybe even will get enough uh, uh, wooden chests to finish the project uh, and maybe the amount of uh, inserters that we need there. Um, we also do have the uh, occasional uh, iron chest in there, at least from what I saw. So those of course will be no use to us because we are going all wood. So let me uh, collect materials here, uh, see what else we have down there. Maybe I need a few more miners. Yes, four are probably not enough, but at least uh, for the smelting we should be good. I think I have all the missing pieces up here. Uh, save the, the power connection, uh, but at least uh, up here all three uh, sets are connected. I just have not yet hooked it up because first I want to have a bit of a look-see around here just to be sure that when we turn on the power we are not run over by any aliens that just hide there beneath the range of what we have uncovered. And here we have a nest right by the lake and it should not be uh, too difficult with our powerful uh, laser and a bit of uh, fish action. Uh, we do have a cliff there in the way and up there is another nest which we will have to deal with as well. At 
let's come down here, finish off this Stranglos. And then we should be able to deal with the second one as well. Uh, the uh, behemoth spiders can be a bit of a nuisance because uh, our lasers are not powerful enough to deal with them instantly. So we have to run a bit away to uh, until they get hit enough. Uh, but as you can see, a uh, second nest is also done. One worm left there. Right. And over there is the next nest. Uh, as you can see, there might be hidden quite a few bases down here. And I will just I think we need a slither more uncovered here. And uh, until the next episode, I will also uh, go a bit around this edge and clear down here. But for now, let's clear out this top part here and then we can finish off this episode with a bit of uh, base cleaning. Uh, not alien bases, but our own base uh, mainly our mining stations um, where we need to sort out some of the miners that have just run out of uh, ore and uh, are not producing fast enough and maybe also some of the trains that just sit there uh, and are not as productive as they could be. There have been a few nests up here and the further out you go the larger your patches are getting uh, but also the nests are getting bigger. But I think we can keep um, pace with uh, infinite uh, research for um, uh, energy weapon damage. Uh, when we uh, get around to doing research again but now we are at uh, at the last um, stretch of of our uh, program for today hooking up power here and we'll just Put up a wire up here and that should yes that brings all three stations online then let's see what's the problem with this train waiting for train fueling and if we have a look train fueling uh, those are these stations and they are all down there so I think what we need here is uh, a copy of these sets of stations um, let's copy that And we will just, because I think these ones are for copper wire. These are dedicated ones. Uh, but we will make those normal um, train fueling stations. And then down here we and clean up some of the miners um, here we can add one more I don't think we need to add more well 
So let's copy this pattern. Add four more here so that for each line I want to have two minors on, on each side. So if we do that here, we have it as well. Clean those up here. We are still good. Up here we have one minor that we can pack up. Otherwise, we're good on this orphan. So let's make our way down to where we want to add the train fueling station. Stop by this copper field here to see uh, uh, do we need any cleanup. We still have two stations there. There we have no longer enough here as well. So down here we have to Extend this a bit, and we don't need that part. Here we can do it that way and that way. I think that should cover everything. Okay, here we are also out. So basically, here this line is all out of uh, of copper um, I think here we can add this on that side here on this side I think we are still good well we have cleaned out things here We can just add a little extension there. To bring all that in. Uh, that was the wrong button. And then... Basically we would have then the same thing here but that's all offset we need to make sure that the, the chests align there and then we can connect like this and then how are we doing up here? Yeah. Here we need another set. And we can even have an extension here on this side. Do it that way. Here we are good, here we are good, aside from empty spots there, here we can add a miner there and there, and here, well we don't need this one anymore. And then this field is also cleaned up. I think that only leaves one more copper field. 
but first let's let's fix this one uh, this station is not train fueling copper wire but just train fueling and then same here train fueling and that should give them a way to go to a station and of course I have run out of rails again but uh, let me finish up the that was close let me run over to this last copper field uh, clean that up pick up the rail and finish this part up here but I think we have uh, accomplished the task for today so uh, let's end it here and uh, next time I'm not yet sure what we do but there is for sure something that we can optimize so don't forget to subscribe and like and I will see you in the next one. Until then, goodbye.